in December 2021, I reached 1,000 subscribers and recently I've reached 7,000 subscribers. This was a great achievement for a small girl coming from a small location somewhere in South Africa and I was ecstatic about that. And one of the reasons that I managed to grow my channel was to take care of my analytics and take note of my analytics and focus on them and using tools like YouTube as well as vidIQ. In this video, I'm going to show you a few features that you could use in order to help you grow your YouTube channel using the vidIQ tool. Obesmic tutorial, this is for you. What is vidIQ? VidIQ is a tool that helps you boost your channel views. It's an artificial intelligence that gets linked and attached to your YouTube channel and guides you with keywords, with titles, with there are so many small and yana features that are available on this tool that really will help you. We're not gonna cover all of the features. I'm just gonna show you the basics. I do have a YouTube channel for beginners course that you could access on learnwithzart.com and there's more information there but in this video I'm just showing you the basics. So if you go to vidiq.com you're then given options to sign up using your Google account email address and then you can sign up. So let's quickly sign up with our Google account. It will ask you to verify, you verify using your phone or your other device and then it will ask you to add your YouTube channel. So we're going to click on add a YouTube channel and we're going to use my sister's maths class and attach it to this vidIQ account. And then you will be given options to choose the basic, which is free and the boost option where you pay a monthly fee of $39. So we're going to continue with the free account and that's pretty much it. You get your welcome, you watch Rob giving you a welcome and five steps to make sure you get the most out of YouTube. Watch the video from Rob, it's going to help you out. Then you have the dashboard from vidIQ available for you to do as you please. It immediately gives you your stats, it gives you what is so important, the title recommendations that are based on artificial intelligence. On a free account, you get three credits that will help you title your videos the way that people are searching on YouTube. Very invaluable tool. And then you can search using keyword opportunities and they would give you in line with your channel that you have attached to the account. You could also scroll down and see the competitors. You could attach the competitors of your channel and then you will get more stats on that. The main menu will show you the dashboard. It will also give you the daily ideas. You get three daily ideas based on your channel of what content you should be creating. For example, it lands on daily ideas, then it will give you the daily ideas and the predictability or the prediction of how searchable and or how the video is going to be found or the competition. Is it very high, high, medium? And then you could delete the idea, dismiss the idea, or you could save the idea and you like the idea so that you can find it next time when you are out of ideas and you don't know what content to be creating. And the keywords is also crucial when you're creating content. This is where you add your keywords and then it will give you a graph. So say, um, let's do a math one and we say asymptote. It will then give you a prediction or a score of the search volume as well as competition. And then it also gives you the related keywords based on what you've searched for, how low it is, how high it is. So that is how you would use the keywords and the related keywords on your vidIQ. And then you get to view the competition if you've added competition competitors on your YouTube uh, vidIQ account. So we're going to jump in on YouTube so I can show you how it attaches to your YouTube channel. So this is um, Len with our YouTube channel. So when you have downloaded the Chrome extension, you will find it under the Chrome extension and it would be one of the tabs over there. You could pin it so that every time you want it, you just click on it and then you get to view the dashboard and all the other features 
that you want to use or view on your vid iq it also gives you an overall score that is attached to your channel your views your short views etc and giving you the green light or red light that's what i earlier said vid iq has a lot of features but over and above these two dashboard links that are attached when you scroll to your menu on your left hand side on youtube you're going to view up to audio library that's the youtube's menu then you would start viewing additional menu options that are attached based on the vidiq chrome extension that you have attached so there's your daily ideas again your keyword inspector your competitors one of my most favorite tool would be the trend alerts so trend alerts will help guide you on what is trending in your niche and then you can jump in on the trend and create content of what people are watching at the time when they are on your youtube when they are on youtube so i use trend alerts as well and when you scroll down you get to view the channel audit so vidiq will give you a channel audit and tell you these videos go create more these videos stop creating because people are not watching so it will give you your subscribers the minutes watch it would be red my month this month is red and it will give you an indication of what content to continue creating and what content you should stop creating the other last one that i use a lot is the achievements it also shows you what you are achieving as far as your youtube channel is concerned and it gives you like a, a pat on the back to say well done on this continue doing this you're doing well with likes and you're doing well with hours watched and the top performing video on your channel if you want more information i do cover this on my youtube for beginners course that is available on learnwithzart.com i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you on the next video